This is the third time I've tried to record this video. That truck over there, I don't know if y'all can see that Peterbilt. It's photobombing me. I've been trying to show y'all every time I take out the phone. I don't know if y'all saw that big old Peterbilt. Every time I take out my phone, out the mount, it stops recording. And then it says storage full because I, I wasn't making this many videos before, but now I've gone like, I don't know. I've been making two and three, 10, 20, all the videos every day. I don't know. I'm just gonna let y'all start following me around. I ain't, I ain't gonna do that. I've been seeing some people that do that on YouTube and they just wander around stores and pretty much talk to themselves and that can't be me. No, no, no. But what I was saying, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start over because I don't wanna piece these videos together. April Fools, all right, I got a job, I got a truck, ain't nobody firing me to the people that were hating and wishing that I was fired. April Fools, jokes on you. All right, most people saw through me as apparently I don't have a good poker face. I don't know, I gotta work on that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But the other video, anyway, Sam was like barking crazy, so. This is not bad. He's not. He's down there playing right now. But <sighs> Facebook groups. If if y'all in Facebook groups for Prime, some of them people up in there don't be believing what they say. I find it so unfortunate that people publicly sit and talk crap about a company and don't know what they're talking about because they don't know what they're doing. You know, I just had a guy bashing Prime, and he works for Prime, saying he's flatbed, runs Texas Regional, pretty much saying that he he makes what a company driver makes. He's not making money. If that's your situation, you need to be a company driver because you don't know how to handle your money. You don't know what you're doing. 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 Just quit, and it's okay. You know, usually I don't advocate for somebody to quit, but if you're going to be lousy at your job and then publicly complain about it and say how much you hate the place basically and you're not making money and convincing people not to come here or whatever because it's not that you're convincing someone not to come here but you're, you're given a biased point of view based off your ignorance for the lack of a better phrase your ignorance like you don't know what you're doing and like you're saying like you know, this guy basically said that but then in the same sentence you know I was like I'm doing well I'm not making what a company driver makes. And then he goes to on to say, well, I've been doing this 28 years. And I was like, oh, and then we go talk about Abacus. Because he's like, well, I paid out $6,000 in taxes. And I'm like, well, your problem is you're probably using the accountant services offered by Prime. Am I wrong? And he goes, well, yeah, but I just changed. But I'm like, but you have 28 years of experience, sir. You should know better. But yet I'm the guy that don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. You know, he basically told me that I was a kid and some other stuff. And you know what? The, the only thing that matters is that I'm making money and you're not. I hope you're my subscriber and you see this. And I figure out who you are because I'm going to block you. I'm, I'm going to block you. Take you right off of here. I ain't got time for that. And we ain't doing it. Because I don't, I don't care what company you work for. You don't have to come to Prime. As long as you're making money, we good. That's all that, that matters. And if you find a deal, I tell everybody that I talk to that the deal that does come to Prime, you know, I've had conversations with some of my subscribers lately. Met some of you guys at the terminal when I was there. Um, if you find a company that pays more during training, a company that pays more cent per mile right out the gate, you let me know. You let me know so I can start advocating for them. And I'm going to quit. I'm going to take this truck back to Prime. Y'all see my TV up there? I'm going to take it down. Go get me a rental car. I'm taking the chains and the binders and the tarps and everything. I'm taking everything. I might take the steering wheel. But then Robert Lowe, you heard me say that already. I'm not going to. I feel like my dispatch is on my YouTube channel. I don't know. But if you are fleet manager, I'm I'm not going to say your name. I don't want to put your name out there. But if you are, I'm just joking. I'm not going to take the steering wheel. I might take that bunk up there. What, what would I do with that? Maybe the mattress. I don't know. I like the mattress. I think Sam likes it too. So... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Y'all trying to get a view back there. Mm -hmm. I see y'all peeking. But fleet manager, if, if you're watching, just so you know, I'm in Missouri right now. For some reason, I ran out of my clock today because I uh, started early so I can get a 70-hour uh, 70, uh, 70 restart. 
I thought, that's a 70 hour re what is that? A 34 hour reset is what I did when I was at the terminal. So I didn't leave to go to Missouri this morning until about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Showed up at my appointment an hour early, got unloaded 30 minutes early, and got out of Dodge. And then I got, you know this, you know you sent me a load, fleet manager. <laughs> and uh, I ain't talking about subscribers no more, I'm talking about fleet manager, I know you watch it. And uh, so when I got over to that styrofoam place that you sent me to, I had to wait for a while. And then once they loaded me, I strapped down and I, I they had to tarp the load. I sat there almost an hour away from them to put tarps on because y'all sent another prime rookie over there and he, I don't know what he was over there doing. Like he went to the tarp bay, they put the tarps on for him and then he went back to the other side and back in the way. I don't know what he was doing, but um, yeah, I had to wait a while and when they put the tarp on there, I pulled out and the tarp blew off, so I had to put it back on myself, breaking all the rules. Breaking, oh, I have no choice. That wind took that thing, ooh. But we, we got it, you know, I just tarped, fully tarped. And uh, tomorrow, just so you know, fleet manager, I'm gonna drive probably about 680, maybe 690, if I feel froggy, 700. Because I'm gonna have a full 14 hour clock, it won't catch up with me. Because we doing all kinds of miles per hour. So hopefully this truck, we're we going to see. I ain't got but 7,000 pounds in the trailer. I'm trying to see if this truck will go warp speed up these hills. So, you know, I got my, uh, I don't know. I ain't, ain't going to tell you what I got. I can't tell you all that. But I'll tell you what. If I pass a DOT officer or a state trooper, that radar might start blinking because they don't know how fast I'm going. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't fire me, fleet manager. I don't know. I'm just out here trying to make a check. If you don't mind, though, if you can send some higher paying loads, you know, I'm I'm just saying, you know, you make me some money, I make you some money, you know, yeah. I, I told you, I'm talking to the fleet manager right now. I know you're listening. Mm -hmm. But for real, though, I really don't know. I have a high suspicion, though. I don't know. I wish there was, I, I need to call my nerd buddy that's still in the army trying to figure out some stuff about your Google account because it seems suspect. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna lay down, I gotta watch House of Cards. I'm gonna watch my episode and then I'm going to bed. So I'm gonna get up like 5.30, 6 o'clock so I can get out of Dodge and start heading over toward uh, Utah. Salt Lake City is where I'm going. Probably not gonna make it to the terminal. I actually want to stop in. I want to see it. I've never been to that terminal before. I'm gonna try. I, sh I should be there Sunday about like five. We're, we're we'll try. We'll, we'll make an effort. I don't know. We'll see. Check the fuel price too. But like, subscribe, and share. Eight minutes. I'm out. Y'all have a good night. Ah! I'm trying to end the video and it won't. You know what? I've had it. This has been a long and stressful day. <sighs> so maybe I just shouldn't even upload this, man. What? Turn off.